Ezekiel 39 says, I will make your arrows fall. I will make your arrows fall. Ezekiel 39, who was he speaking to? He was speaking to that army, that army of Magog and Iran, which is Persia. This is God speaking about this. This is an update that this is an amazing thing because there was a miracle that happened when Iran launched those hundreds and hundreds of missiles at Israel and 99.9% of them were taken out. In other words, the arrows were knocked out of their hand. This is an amazing thing. So let's check it out right now. So that was on April, right? April 13, uh, 2024. We saw these missiles launched at Israel, and it was just a horrible thing. But we know it was Iran, this country right here, Iran, where these missiles were launched from, to this tiny little nation right here, Israel. And they launched them from various places, and it was a horrible thing that happened. So on, it was on April 13, 2024, Israel launched or excuse me, Iran launched hundreds of missiles at Israel, hundreds of them. And Russia, which is, I think, Magog, right? That country to the north that uh, even Josephus described as that area, helped Iran, which is Persia, giving them their GPS system to guide the missiles. So they were both involved in this thing. And they were shooting ballistic, intercontinental ballistic missiles. These things are within like 12 minutes will hit Israel. They're hard to take out. But they had this amazing success. But there's this amazing miracle that happened. And and, and it was like God's hand was over Israel and the arrows were knocked down, right? That's what I think was what we saw there. But you're going to see a miracle in this episode. And there's a physicist that works for the Israeli government, for the Defense Department. And he's a scientist, one of the top scientists. And he said himself, he said this was a miracle. The probability of this was not normal this was not <laughs> this was not science there's something supernatural happened that 99.9% of these missiles could didn't touch Israel didn't hurt anybody well one little girl was hurt but nobody was killed this is an absolute miracle you guys so let's go into the presentation here and this is the guy right here, professor of physics, Maximilian Abbott Bolin. I don't know if I said that right, but he's an expert on the defense industry where in Israel. And he said this, I wanted to share something that is much more than a feeling, something that comes from real calculation. And what is that? He says what happened in Israel on last Matzah Shabbat was not less than the scale of the splitting of the Red Sea. Whoa. I'm a professor of physics and I worked for several years in the defense industry in Israel in projects that are still the cutting edge technologies of the defense of the state of Israel. And he's saying that there was a miraculous, powerful miracle that happened here. And I'm going to show you that it really was. And people need to be t- paying attention to this stuff. This is an amazing, amazing miracle that happened. Now watch this. Nobody's talking about this. And this is, I think we need to be talking about this, you guys. So here it is. He continues on. He says, when I look at what happened on that Shabbat, on a scientific level, it simply cannot happen statistically. So he's saying there's no way this couldn't happen. The likelihood that everything but really everything works out does not exist in complex systems like the defense systems that are used to defend Israel from the massive Iranian attack. So what happened exactly? I think, like I said, God's hand of protection was with Israel. There was a great miracle, and there's more detail about right here. He said, I took a pencil and divided it into the calculations to check the statistic probability that such a result would materialize. Even if we got 90% protection, it would have been a miracle, he said. And I quote, isn't that amazing? So he said, what happened is that everyone but Everyone, the pilots, the system operators, and the technology operators acted as one man at one moment in total and total unity. If this is not an act of God, then I no longer know what a miracle is. Wow. 
It is greater than the victory of the Six-Day War or the War of Independence. Those wars can also be explained through natural events. But the simple proof of what I said is that the managers of the defense industries who develop and manufacture these systems guarantee no more than 90% success. 90%. And we saw, and I quote here, he said, and we saw, we all saw with our own eyes, 99.9% success in taking out those missiles. Thank you, Hashem, he says. Hashem means the name. In Israel, it's an old Jewish tradition. They don't don't even so much, they reverence God so much, they won't even say his name, which I think is Yahweh. I, I can say it as a believer in Jesus Christ because I have direct access to God through his son, God the Son, Jesus Christ. But this man here is saying, Hashem, someday he will know who this, who the name is. It is Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach, God the Son. He's the Messiah. Isn't that amazing? So we do know the name, Hashem, (laughs) the name. The name is above all names, Jesus Christ. And he still loves Israel to this day. He loves Israel and he's going to protect them. It's all over scripture and it's an amazing thing. So let's end with Ezekiel here. I think this is fitting that we do that. Ezekiel 39, then I will strike your bow from your left hand and make your arrows fall from your right hand. Arrows are another name, in my opinion, of missiles. In fact, Israel's missile defense system is called the arrow. So he's saying, I will make your arrows, speaking to Magog and Persia, which is Iran, right? This evil army. I will make them fall from your right hand. God is protecting Israel, my friend. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Jesus, the name above all all names. Hey, my friend, if you have not checked my book out, check this book out. Uh, This is my new book, How to uh, uh, See Jesus in the Old Testament. I'm writing it right now, but you can pre-order it on Amazon and you can get a copy of that, my friend. So, hey, super excited. I hope you are too. Also, you can watch everything for free right here. If you click on this playlist, how to find Jesus in the Old Testament, you want to click on that. Also, you want to hit that subscribe button down below, my friend. So click on this playlist.